In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Alif, Lam, Ra. These are the ayats of revelation of a Quran that makes things clear. Often will those who disbelieve wish that they had been Muslims. Leave them alone to eat and enjoy, and let false hope distract them soon, for they will soon know. Never did we destroy a population that had not a term decreed and assigned beforehand. Neither can a people anticipate its term nor delay it. They say, O thou to whom the message is being revealed, truly thou art mad or possessed. Why bringest thou not angels to us, if it be that thou hast the truth? We send not the angels down except for just cause. If they came to the ungodly, behold, no respite would they have. We have, without doubt, sent down the message, and we will assuredly guard it from corruption. We did send messengers before thee amongst the sects of old. But never came a messenger to them, but they mocked him. Even so do we let it creep into the hearts of the sinners. They do not believe in the message, such has been the way of those who went before them. Even if we opened out to them a gate from heaven, and they were to continue all day ascending therein. They would only say, Our eyes have been intoxicated, nay, we have been bewitched by sorcery. It is we who have set out constellations' signs in the heavens, and made them fair-seeming to all beholders. And moreover, we have guarded them from every accursed Satan. But any that gains a hearing by stealth is pursued by a fiery comet, bright to see. And the earth we have spread out like a carpet, set there on mountains firm and immovable, and produced therein all kinds of things in due balance. And we have provided therein means of subsistence, for you and for those for whose sustenance ye are not responsible. And there is not a thing but its sources and treasures inexhaustible are with us but we only send down thereof in due and ascertainable measures. And we send the fecundating winds, then cause the rain to descend from the sky, therewith providing you with water in abundance, though ye are not the guardians of its stores. And verily, it is we who give life and who give death, It is we who remain inheritors after all else passes away. To us are known those of you who hasten forward, and those who lag behind. Assuredly, it is thy Lord who will gather them together, for he is perfect in wisdom and knowledge. We created man from sounding clay, from mud moulded into shape. And the jinn race we had created before from the fire of a scorching wind. Behold, thy Lord said to the angels, I am about to create man from sounding clay from mud moulded into shape. When I have fashioned him in due proportion and breathed into him of my spirit, Fall ye down in obeisance unto him. So the angels prostrated themselves, all of them together. Not so Iblis, he refused to be among those who prostrated themselves. Allah said, 
O Iblis, what is your reason for not being among those who prostrated themselves? Otazuch, Iblis said, I am not one to prostrate myself to man, whom thou didst create from sounding clay, from mud moulded into shape. Allah said, Then get thee out from here, for thou art rejected, accursed. And the curse shall be on thee till the day of judgment. Iblis said, O my Lord, give me then respite till the day the dead are raised. Allah said, Respite is granted thee till the day of the time appointed. Iblis said, O my Lord, because thou hast put me in the wrong, I will make wrong fair-seeming to them on the earth, and I will put them all in the wrong, except thy chosen servants among them. Allah said, This is for me a straight path, for over my servants no authority shalt thou have, except such as put themselves in the wrong and follow thee. And verily, hell is the promised abode for them all. To it are seven gates, for each of those gates is a special class of sinners assigned. The righteous will be amid gardens and fountains of clear flowing water. Their greeting will be, Enter ye here in peace and security, and we shall remove from their hearts any lurking sense of injury. They will be brothers joyfully facing each other on raised couches. There no sense of fatigue shall touch them, nor shall they ever be asked to leave. Tell my servants that I am indeed the oft-forgiving, most merciful, and that my chastisement will be indeed the most grievous chastisement. Tell them about the guests of Abraham. When they entered his presence and said, Peace, he said, We feel afraid of you. They said, Fear not, we give thee glad tidings of a son endowed with knowledge. He said, Do ye give me glad tidings even though old age has seized me? Of what then is your good news? They said, we give thee glad tidings in truth. Be not then in despair. He said, And who despairs of the mercy of his Lord but such as go astray? Abraham said, What then is the business on which ye have come, O ye messengers of Allah? They said, We have been sent to a people deep in sin. Accepting the adherence of Lut, them we are certainly charged to save from harm, all. Except his wife, who, we have ascertained, will be among those who will lag behind. At length, when the messengers arrived among the adherents of Lut, he said, Ye appear to be uncommon folk. They said, Yea, we have come to thee to accomplish that of which they doubt. We have come to thee with the truth, and assuredly we tell the truth. Then travel by night with thy household, when a portion of the night yet remains, and do thou go behind them. Let no one amongst you look back but pass on whitherfore ye are ordered. And we made known this decree to him, that the last remnants of those sinners should be cut off by the morning. The inhabitants of the city came in mad joy at news of the young men. Lut said, 
These are my guests. Disgrace me not. But fear Allah and shame me not. They said, Did we not forbid thee to speak for all and sundry? He said, There are my daughters to marry, if ye must act so. Verily, by thy life, O Prophet, in their wild intoxication they wander in distraction to and fro, but the mighty blast overtook them at sunrise. And we turned the cities upside down, and rained down on them brimstones hard as baked clay. Behold, in this are signs for those who by tokens do understand. And the cities were right on the high road. Behold, in this is a sign for those who believed. And the companions of the wood were also wrongdoers. So we exacted retribution from them. They were both on an open highway, plain to see. The companions of the rocky tract also rejected the messengers. We sent them our signs, but they persisted in turning away from them. Out of the mountains did they hew their edifices, feeling themselves secure. But the mighty blast seized them of a morning. And of no avail to them was all that they did with such art and care. We created not the heavens the earth, and all between them, but for just ends. And the hour is surely coming when this will be manifest. So overlook any human faults with gracious forgiveness. For verily it is thy Lord who is the All-Creator, knowing all things. And we have bestowed upon thee the seven oft-repeated verses and the Grand Quran. Strain not thine eyes, wistfully at what we have bestowed on certain classes of them, nor grieve over them, but lower thy wing in gentleness to the believers, and say, I am indeed he that warneth openly and without ambiguity of just such wrath as we sent down on those who divided scripture into arbitrary parts. So also on such as have made Quran into shreds as they please. Therefore by thy Lord will we of a surety call them to account for all their deeds. Therefore expound openly what thou art commanded, and turn away from those who join false gods with Allah. For sufficient are we unto thee against those who scoff, those who adopt with Allah another god, but soon will they come to know. We do indeed know how thy heart is distressed at what they say, but celebrate the praises of thy Lord, and be of those who prostrate themselves in adoration, and serve thy Lord until there come unto thee the hour that is certain. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, inevitable cometh to pass the command of Allah. Seek ye not then to hasten it, Glory to him, and far is he above having the partners they ascribe unto him. He doth send down his angels with inspiration of his command, to such of his servants as he pleaseth, saying, Warn man that there is no God but I, so do your duty unto me. He has created the heavens and the earth with truth, Far is he above having the partners they ascribe to him. He has created man from a sperm drop, and behold, this same man becomes an open disputer. And cattle he has created for you men, 
From them ye derive warmth and numerous benefits, and of their meat ye eat. And ye have a sense of pride and beauty in them as ye drive them home in the evening, and as ye lead them forth to pasture in the morning. And they carry your heavy loads to lands that ye could not otherwise reach except with souls distressed. For your Lord is indeed most kind, most merciful. And he has created horses, mules and donkeys for you to ride and as an adornment. And he has created other things of which ye have no knowledge. Allah alone can show the right path, but there are ways that turn aside. If Allah had willed, he could have guided all of you. It is he who sends down rain from the sky. From it ye drink, and out of it grows the vegetation on which ye feed your cattle. With it he produces for you corn, olives, date palms, grapes, and every kind of fruit. Verily, in this is a sign for those who give thought. He has made subject to you the night and the day, the sun and the moon, and the stars are in subjection by his command. Verily, in this are signs for men who are wise. And the things on this earth which he has multiplied in varying colours and qualities. Verily, in this is a sign for men who are mindful. It is he who has made the sea subject, that ye may eat thereof flesh that is fresh and tender, and that ye may extract therefrom ornaments to wear. And thou seest the ships therein that plough the waves, that ye may seek thus of the bounty of Allah, and that ye may be grateful. And he hath set up on the earth mountains standing firm, lest it should shake you, and rivers and roads, that ye may guide yourselves. And marks and signposts, and by the stars men guide themselves. Is then he who creates like one that creates not? Will ye not receive admonition? If ye would count up the favours of Allah, never would you be able to number them. For Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. And Allah doth know what ye conceal and what ye reveal. Those who they invoke besides Allah create nothing and are themselves created. They are things dead, lifeless, nor do they know when they will be raised up. Your God is one God. As to those who believe not in the hereafter, their hearts refuse to know, and they are arrogant. Undoubtedly, Allah doth know what they conceal and what they reveal. Verily, he loveth not the arrogant. When it is said to them, What is it that your Lord has revealed? They say, Tales of the ancients. That they may, on the day of judgment, their own burdens in full and also something of the burdens of those without knowledge whom they misled. Alas, how grievous the burdens they will bear! Those before them did also plot against Allah's way, but Allah took their structures from their foundations, and the roof fell down on them from above, and the wrath seized them from directions they did not perceive. Then on the day of judgment, he will cover them with shame and say, Where are my partners concerning whom ye used to dispute with the godly? Those endued with knowledge will say, 
This day indeed are the unbelievers covered with shame and misery, namely those whose lives the angels will take in a state of wrongdoing to their own souls. Then would they offer submission with the pretense, "We did no evil knowingly." The angels will reply. Nay, but verily, Allah knoweth all that ye did. So enter the gates of hell to dwell therein. Thus, evil indeed is the abode of the arrogant. To the righteous, when it is said, "What is it that your Lord hath revealed?" they say, "All that is good." To those who do good. There is good in this world, and the home of the hereafter is even better. And excellent indeed is the home of the righteous. Gardens of eternity, which they will enter, beneath them flow pleasant rivers. They will have therein all that they wish. Thus doth Allah reward the righteous. Namely, those whose lives the angels take in a state of purity, saying to them, "Peace be on you. Enter ye the garden, because of the good which ye did in the world. Do the ungodly wait, but for the angels come to them, or there comes the command of thy Lord for their doom? So did those who went before them." But Allah wronged them not; nay, they wronged their own souls. But the evil results of their deeds overtook them, and that very wrath at which they had scoffed hemmed them in. The worshippers of false gods say, "If Allah had so willed, we should not have worshipped aught but Him. Neither we nor our fathers." Nor should we have prescribed prohibitions other than His. So did those who went before them. But what is the mission of messengers but to preach the clear message? For we assuredly sent amongst every people a messengers, with the command, "Serve Allah and eschew evil." Of the people were some whom Allah guided. And some on whom error became inevitably established. So travel through the earth and see what was the end of those who denied the truth. If thou art anxious for their guidance, yet Allah guideth not such as He leaves to stray, and there is none to help them. They swear their strongest oaths by Allah, that Allah will not raise up those who die. Nay, but it is a promise binding on him in truth, but most among mankind know it not. They must be raised up in order that he may manifest to them the truth of that wherein they differ, and that the rejecters of truth may realize that they were liars. For to anything which we have willed, we but say be, and it is. To those who leave their homes in the cause of Allah after suffering oppression, we will assuredly give a goodly home in this world. But truly, the reward of the hereafter will be greater, if they only realize this. They are those who persevere in patience and put their trust on their Lord. And before thee, we sent none but men. To whom we granted inspiration. If you realize this not, ask of those who possess the message. We sent them with clear signs and scriptures, and we have sent down unto thee also the message, that thou mayest explain clearly to men what is sent for them, and that they may give thought. Do then those who devise evil plots. Feel secure that Allah will not cause the earth to swallow them up, or that the wrath will not seize them from directions they little perceive. 
or that he may not call them to account in the midst of their goings to and fro, without a chance of their frustrating him, or that he may not call them to account by a process of slow wastage, for thy Lord is indeed full of kindness and mercy. Do they not look at Allah's creation among things, how their shadows turn round from the right and the left? Prostrating themselves to Allah, and that in the humblest manner. And Allah doth prostrate all that is in the heavens and on earth, whether moving creatures or the angels, for none are arrogant before their Lord. They all fear their Lord, high above them, and they do all that they are commanded. Allah has said. Take not for worship two gods, for He is just one God. Then fear Me and Me alone. To Him belongs whatever is in the heavens and on earth, and to Him is the religion always. Then will ye fear other than Allah? And ye have no good thing but is from Allah. And moreover, when ye are touched by distress, unto him ye cry with groans. Yet when he removes the distress from you, behold, some of you turn to other gods to join with their lord, to show their ingratitude for the favors we have bestowed on them. Then enjoy your brief day, but soon will ye know your folly. And they even assign to things they do not know, a portion out of that which we have bestowed for their sustenance. By Allah, ye shall certainly be called to account for your false inventions. And they assign daughters for Allah. Glory be to Him, and for themselves what they desire. When news is brought to one of them, of the birth of a female child, his face darkens and he is filled with inward grief. With shame does he hide himself from his people, because of the bad news he has had. Shall he retain it on sufferance and contempt, or bury it in the dust? Ah, what an evil choice they decide on! To those who believe not in the hereafter, applies the similitude of evil. To Allah applies the highest similitude, for He is the exalted in power, full of wisdom. If Allah were to punish men for their wrongdoing, He would not leave on the earth a single living creature, but He gives them respite for a stated term. When their term expires, they would not be able to delay the punishment for a single hour, just as they would not be able to anticipate it for a single hour. They attribute to Allah what they hate for themselves, and their tongues assert the falsehood that the reward most fair is for themselves. Without doubt, for them is the fire. And they will be the first to be hastened on into it. By Allah, we also sent our messengers to peoples before thee, but Satan made to the wicked their own acts seem alluring. He is also their patron today, but they shall have a most grievous chastisement. And we sent down the book to thee, so that thou shouldst make clear to them those things in which they differ, and that it should be a guide and a mercy to those who believe. And Allah sends down rain from the skies, and gives therewith life to the earth after its death. Verily, in this is a sign for those who listen. 
And verily in cattle too will ye find an instructive sign. From what is within their bodies between excretions and blood, we produce for your drink milk, pure and agreeable to those who drink it. And from the fruit of the date palm and the vine, ye get out strong drink and wholesome food. Behold, in this also is a sign for those who are wise. And thy Lord taught the bee to build its cells in hills, on trees, and in men's habitations. Then to eat of all the produce of the earth, and follow the ways of thy Lord made smooth, their issues from within their bodies a drink of varying colours, wherein is healing for men. Verily in this is a sign for those who give thought. It is Allah who creates you and takes your souls at death. And of you there are some who are sent back to a feeble age, so that they know nothing after having known much. For Allah is all-knowing, all-powerful. So Allah has bestowed his gifts of sustenance more freely on some of you than on others. Those more favoured are not going to throw back their gifts to those whom their right hands possess, so as to be equal in that respect. Will they then deny the favours of Allah? And Allah has made for you mates and companions of your own nature, and made for you out of them sons and daughters and grandchildren, and provided for your sustenance of the best. Will they then believe in vain things and be ungrateful for Allah's favours? And worship others than Allah, such as have no power of providing them for sustenance with anything in heavens or earth, and cannot possibly have such power. Invent not similitudes for Allah, for Allah knoweth and ye know not. Allah sets forth the parable of two men, one a slave under the dominion of another. He has no power of any sort, and the other a man on whom we have bestowed goodly favours from ourselves, and he spends thereof freely, privately and publicly. Are the two equal? By no means. Praise be to Allah. But most of them know not. Allah sets forth another parable of two men. One of them dumb, with no power of any sort. A wearisome burden is he to his master. Whichever way he directs him, he brings no good. Is such a man equal with one who commands justice and is on a straight way? To Allah belongeth the unseen of the heavens and the earth, and the matter of the hour of judgment is as the twinkling of an eye, or even quicker, for Allah hath power over all things. It is he who brought you forth from the wombs of your mothers when ye knew nothing, and he gave you hearing and sight and intelligence and affections, that ye may give thanks to Allah. Do they not look at the birds held poised in the midst of the air and the sky? Nothing holds them up but the power of Allah. Verily in this are signs for those who believe. It is Allah who made your habitations homes of rest and quiet for you, and made for you out of the skins of animals tents for dwellings, which ye find so light and handy when ye travel, and when ye stop in your travels, and out of their wool and their soft fibres between wool and hair, and their hair rich stuff and articles of convenience to serve you for a time. 
It is Allah who made out of things he created some things to give you shade. Of the hills he made some for your shelter. He made your garments to protect you from heat and coats to protect you from your mutual violence. Thus does he complete his favours on you, that ye may bow to his will in Islam. But if they turn away, thy duty is only to preach the clear message. They recognise the favours of Allah, then they deny them, and most of them are creatures ungrateful. One day we shall raise from all peoples a witness. Then will no excuse be accepted from unbelievers, nor will they be allowed to make amends. When the wrongdoers actually see the chastisement, then will it in no way be mitigated, nor will they then receive respite. When those who gave partners to Allah will see their partners, they will say, Our Lord, these are our partners, those whom we used to invoke besides thee. But they will throw back their word at them and say, Indeed, ye are liars. That day shall they openly show their submission to Allah, and all their inventions shall leave them in the lurch. Those who reject Allah and hinder men from the path of Allah, for them we will add chastisement to chastisement, for that they used to spread mischief. On the day we shall raise from all peoples a witness against them from amongst themselves and we shall bring thee as a witness against these thy people. And we have sent down to thee the book explaining all things, a guide, a mercy, and glad tidings to Muslims. Allah commands justice, the doing of good, and given to kith and kin, and he forbids all indecent deeds, and evil and rebellion. He instructs you that ye may receive admonition. Fulfill the covenant of Allah when ye have entered into it, and break not your oaths after ye have confirmed them. Indeed, ye have made Allah your surety, for Allah knoweth all that ye do. And be not like a woman who breaks into untwisted strands the yarn which she has spun, after it has become strong, using your oaths to deceive one another, lest one party should be more numerous than another. For Allah will test you by this, and on the day of judgment he will certainly make clear to you the truth of that wherein ye disagree. If Allah so willed, he could make you all one people. But he leaves straying whom he pleases, and he guides whom he pleases. But ye shall certainly be called to account for all your actions. And take not your oaths to practice deception between yourselves, with the result that someone's foot may slip after it was firmly planted, and ye may have to taste the evil consequences of having hindered men from the path of Allah, and a mighty wrath descend on you. Nor sell the covenant of Allah for a miserable price, for with Allah is a prize far better for you, if ye only knew. What is with you must vanish, what is with Allah will endure. And we will certainly bestow on those who patiently persevere their reward according to the best of their actions. Whoever works righteousness, man or woman, and has faith, verily to him we will give a new life, 
a life that is good and pure, and we will bestow on such their reward according to the best of their actions. When thou dost read the Quran, seek Allah's protection from Satan, the rejected one. No authority has he over those who believe and put their trust in their Lord. His authority is over those only who take him as patron and who join partners with Allah. When we substitute one revelation for another, and Allah knows best what he reveals in stages, they say, Thou art but a forger, but most of them know not. Say the Holy Spirit has brought the revelation from thy Lord in truth in order to strengthen those who believe and as a guide and glad tidings to Muslims. We know indeed that they say, It is a man that teaches him. The tongue of him they wickedly point to is notably foreign, while this is Arabic pure and clear. Those who believe not in the signs of Allah, Allah will not guide them, and theirs will be a grievous chastisement. It is those who believe not in the signs of Allah that forge falsehood. It is they who lie. Anyone who, after accepting faith in Allah, utters unbelief, except under compulsion, his heart remaining firm in faith. But such as open their breasts to unbelief, on them is wrath from Allah, and theirs will be a dreadful chastisement. This because they love the life of this world better than the hereafter. And Allah will not guide those who reject faith. Those are they whose hearts, ears, and eyes Allah has sealed up, and they take no heed. Without doubt, in the hereafter, they will be the losers. But verily, thy Lord, to those who leave their homes after trials and persecutions, and who thereafter strive and fight for the faith, and patiently persevere, Thy Lord, after all this is oft-giving, most merciful. On the very day every soul will come up pleading for itself, and every soul will be recompensed fully for all its actions, and none will be unjustly dealt with. Allah sets forth a parable, a city enjoying security and quiet, abundantly supplied with sustenance from every place. Yet was it ungrateful for the favours of Allah, so Allah made it taste of hunger and terror in extremes, closing in on it like a garment from every side, because of the evil which its people wrought. And there came to them a messenger from among themselves, but they falsely rejected him, so the wrath seized them even in the midst of their iniquities. So eat of the sustenance which Allah has provided for you, lawful and good, and be grateful for the favours of Allah, if it is he whom ye serve. He has only forbidden you dead meat and blood and the flesh of swine, and any food over which the name of other than Allah has been invoked. But if one is forced by necessity, without willful disobedience, nor transgressing due limits, then Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. But say not for any false thing that your tongues may put forth. This is lawful, and this is forbidden so as to ascribe false things to Allah. For those who ascribe false things to Allah will never prosper. In such falsehoods is but a paltry profit, 
but they will have a most grievous chastisement. To the Jews we prohibited such things as we have mentioned to thee before. We did them no wrong, but they were used to doing wrong to themselves. But verily thy Lord, to those who do wrong in ignorance, but who thereafter repent and make amends, thy Lord after all this is oft forgiving, most merciful. Abraham was indeed a model, devoutly obedient to Allah, and true in faith, and he joined not gods with Allah. He showed his gratitude for the favours of Allah, who chose him and guided him to a straight way. And we gave him good in this world, and he will be, in the hereafter, in the ranks of the righteous. So we revealed to thee, Follow the ways of Abraham, the true in faith, and he joins not gods with Allah. The Sabbath was only made strict for those who disagreed as to its observance. But Allah will judge between them on the day of judgment as to their differences. Invite all to the way of thy Lord with wisdom and beautiful preaching, and argue with them in ways that are best and most gracious. For thy Lord knoweth best who have strayed from his path and who receive guidance. And if ye punish, let your punishment be proportional to the wrong that has been done to you. But if ye show patience, that is indeed the best course for those who are patient. And do thou be patient, for thy patience is but from Allah, nor grieve over them and distress not thyself because of their plots. For Allah is with those who restrain themselves, and those who do good. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, Alif, Lam, Ra.